March 1st yay it's March I feel like it's finally like about to be spring although it is 53 degrees today in Houston so it's been a little cold these last few days anyway I just got home I had to drop the kids off this morning was a little bit hectic like um, usually on Fridays Pete will work from home and so he normally will like get up with the kids and make them breakfast and everything so I actually slept in a little bit and then worked out but I worked out like later like I didn't start working out until around like 6 15 so <clears throat> I assumed that like Pete was gonna do the whole morning routine kind of thing, but um, I guess he was like working a lot and then he got called into a meeting at eight. So I had to take the kids to daycare and I like didn't give them, like nobody gave them breakfast. So I had to like give them Cheerios and a little Ziploc and like crescent rolls from last night's dinner. So whatever, it is what it is. Sometimes the mornings are just a little chaotic, but uh, it's Friday, so at least it's the end of the week um I actually have a meeting in eight minutes so I need to go in and join that but I have a pretty busy day a lot going on we are actually going at noon to check out a uh, daycare for Quinn I had met these ladies from around the block there's like a book club for ladies that live in my little community here and I was asking them all because they have little kids that are around my age I was asking them about the school situation for Chase like public school and then like daycares because they have little kids too so they um two of the ladies send their kids to this same daycare so we're going to check that out today it's only 10 minutes away from the house so hopefully we like it we went to another one like a few weeks ago and I don't know Pete really didn't like it um I thought it was okay I it's just preschool so it's not like you know major you have major considerations about the teaching and stuff like that it's more like is it clean are they nice people are they going to treat my kid well like will she learn stuff so we're going to do that and then tonight i am going to the rodeo to see 50 cent and that's going to be so fun like i love 50 cent i mean he hasn't come out with anything in a very long time but back in the day like he had a lot of bangers so fun fun stuff coming up for me today my arm is killing me from holding this camera all right I'm gonna head inside and um, I will catch up with you after my meeting I'm probably gonna try to get like bang out a bunch of my work this morning so that I'm not like stressed out and rushing around later today okay I will talk to you soon I want to be there and baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun 
You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So it is about 11 o'clock now. I just took 10 minutes away from my desk just to curl my hair. I actually used my curling wand and I tend to not because I don't know. I usually only use it when I have short hair. Just, I don't know why I tend to like it better, but I actually don't mind it. It kind of comes out like a little crimpy and like beachy wave. So I might have to do that more because I'm kind of liking the way that it looks. Um, it also just like doesn't hold the curl as long as my regular curling iron and it takes me longer to do, although it only took me 10 minutes, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, at noon, we, Pete and I are going to go over to a new daycare. I am just going to finish up some work before we head off to the daycare tour and then the rest of my afternoon is quiet. I have no more meetings, so I'm just gonna finish up the projects for the week. And this weekend is very chill. We're having our friends over. They're gonna come over and see the house for the first time. I can't even believe that like it's already that March and we've been living here for two months and we haven't had our best friends over. So, um, but it's just been chaotic and y'all know. So excited about that. We're gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow and get some food to cook and like all their kids and stuff are gonna come over too. So that should be really fun. Tomorrow, oh my God, tomorrow's gonna be 78 and Sunday is gonna be 81. So it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Cannot wait. All right, I will check back in in a little bit. All right guys, we just got back from our tour of the daycare and I am so happy and so relieved. Both Pete and I absolutely loved the daycare. So I think we found our solution and they said that all we needed to do, like even if we wanted to start them in a couple months or something for whatever reason, we could just down the deposit and then we can start them whenever we wanted. And I love that because the other daycare that we went to was like, no, you need to enroll them right away. We don't like secure spots for say August or something like that if you wanted to start your kid at the you know, beginning of the school year. So I don't know, that first one kind of like, now thinking back, was not like up to par. And I'm so glad that we found this one. The director that we talked to was amazing. I got such a good vibe from her. And they have this like bridge program for Chase. So if like he wasn't able to get into the public school for whatever reason, uh, we could put him in this kindergarten bridge program where obviously like if kids miss the cut out cut off like if they're born in September and turn five in September like they would have to repeat another year they couldn't go to kindergarten so they teach the regular kindergarten curriculum in this bridge program so I feel like we are good because Chase is like our the biggest outlier here like Quinn you know it's it's preschool so it's not like as big a deal and we kind of you know know the ropes and everything so just got a really good vibe from the place we looked into the preschool classroom there's one teacher right now and there's 11 kids in the class so like small nice small knit group which is really good they also said that they can we can bring the kids and leave them in the classrooms on like a friday for two hours just so that they can like check it out, see how they do, get a little acclimated, get to know the teacher before you actually like put them in the school. So I think I'm gonna do that. So now I just have like paperwork that I have to do. I'm gonna drop it off next week. We were even thinking like we would keep the kids in their current school until like the end of May, just cause Chase has like a graduation and whatever, but it's like a preschool graduation or whatever and it's not necessary so and I cannot deal with this commute any longer so now it's 10 minute drive there and um, if Chase does go to public school next year it's literally like his school is on the way to this daycare so it, boom 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 like it'll be so easy so seamless so just like what a relief I was so happy and um they have cameras, like video cameras in the classroom and there's an app that you can go on, which I love. I, I'm 
probably gonna spend way too much time like checking in on the app and like watching the kids, <laughs> but whatever. That's something that our current daycare doesn't have. And I don't know, they were just like really chill about everything. They have no uniforms at this school, so I don't have to deal with that. And just like, it's actually a little bit cheaper than our school that they're going to right now too. So that's really nice. Right now it is 120 and another, oh, another exciting thing. I just got a notification on my, um, my Amazon app. I ordered a Kindle. So I know I've been like on the fence. Like I really like having a physical book, but I'm finding just like my stack of books is growing and growing and growing and it's kind of expensive. I'm buying like two to three books a month. So that's like over $20 at least every month. And um, I read all the reviews on this new Kindle, excited for it. And I think um, a lot of the, I did like Amazon Kindle Unlimited. So you get free books and stuff like that for three months um, in your subscription. And then I think it's like 12 or $11 afterwards. But a lot of my Frida books are gonna be free. So yes. So excited for that okay i am actually going to get back to work for a little while before i get back to work and like finish up the day's tasks um i want to share i just got these new chairs from the company lubona and i want to show them to you Okay, so this is the new chair. It's the Ace Swivel Armchair, and I got it in the color linen. It's this beautiful, just like brushed linen fabric. So comfortable. It is a 360 degree spin, so it's actually so perfect for multiple uses and in multiple places. Actually really nice, just like in the corner right here for extra seating, because it doesn't look like a desk chair, but the second one, my husband is planning to get like a an L desk I think over here or like whatever um so definitely gonna put another one at his desk but they also have these like metal legs but it looks like wood and the best part about it is that it's only $159 or 300 for two chairs and it's incredibly comfortable um especially the back of the seat is nice and padded as you can see this like sponge filling inside of it i love that it's got this tufted backrest right here i love that it has these kind of like armrest like i said it's perfect for multiple spaces you can totally use this in like i was also thinking of maybe putting it in our guest bedroom just for like you know a corner a little like reading nook or something like that um you can definitely use it as a desk chair it's just really comfortable i love that you can kind of just spin around as needed i'm gonna bang into something here but you know if you're at your desk it's perfect if you have it next to a table or you need to like grab stuff from other directions it's great it also comes in a couple of different colors this linen fabric one i think there's a gray fabric and then there's like a cognac faux leather version as well that's really nice. Overall, I love the chair, I love the price, I love the versatility, and I really love the company. This is the second product that I got from Lubona. Weight chairs that are in our breakfast nook right now at our breakfast nook table. I absolutely love them. Lubona has kindly given y'all a 15% discount on anything on their site. The code is FADUL15, so go check them out. I'll also also link the ace swivel chair here in the description box below go check it out they have a ton of great products on their site so check them out thank you so much to Lubana for partnering with me once again and I am gonna go back to work now back in in a little while hi guys so it is almost three o'clock now I've wrapped up pretty much all of my work for the week and I'm just taking a quick break I am gonna go and clean my kids bathrooms really quick just like do the toilets and the top of the counter and the mirrors and stuff just get it done should only take me like maybe half an hour ish
so I am all done cleaning up the bathrooms. It took about a half an hour, but um, because the kids don't bathe in there like every night, we like switch off back and forth. It's not as bad because I don't clean their bathrooms every single week. A half an hour to clean their bathrooms every other week is not too bad. What I did want to show you is Chase's bed. So I've been encouraging Chase to be more independent and start doing more stuff like on his own. And so we have a new routine where he gets up in the morning. I will leave his clothes out the night before. So we've got the hippo alarm clock and it's set for seven, but 15 minutes before seven o'clock, so 6.45, it'll turn yellow. So he knows that like it'll be green soon. So when it turns yellow, he gets up, he brushes his teeth by himself, he gets dressed and he makes his bed. And I like, I don't know. I mean, he's only five years old, but like, that's pretty good for a five-year-old. And in the beginning, he used to like hurt her like all the way back, but I was showing him like how mommy makes the bed. And so now he did this himself. He like flipped over the, the top of it so that it looks nice. And oh my gosh, he did a great job. Like I am super impressed. So honestly, it's been such a big help for me in the mornings when we have to go to school because it's literally like one less person that I have to do all the things with. Usually there's a fight between like who brushes their teeth first and who gets their clothes on for the day first. Now Chase is all done and hopefully it's going to rub off on Quinn and she's going to kind of learn from him and I just got them this like sticker chore tart. So... We're gonna start using that. I'm gonna, you know, give them little chores around the house and also use it for bedtime because Quinn, now that she's in her big bed, she gets out of her bed a lot after we put her down and, you know, at night. And we wanna try to like fix that behavior and give her stars and give Chase stars if they stay in their rooms and they're quiet after we put them to bed. So. Hopefully it's gonna be really good. I know Chase like loves that kind of reward system. Like he really, really likes it. They do stuff like that at school where they get stickers for, you know, participating and listening and things like that. So I think it's gonna be good. All right, I am done up here. I need to go wrap up some work and then log off for the day. Hi guys, so it is five o'clock now. I've already logged off for work and I just took the last half an hour to get ready. We're going to the rodeo and to see 50 Cent. So I'll just show you my outfit real quick before I run out the door. So <laughs> I don't have cowboy boots. This is as good as I got. Denim jacket, got some white booties on and um, leather, leather skirt and then I just have this like sleeveless tank top thing. So this is it. This is the fit. Going to the rodeo. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.